Hello YouTube, this is day one of assembling the Switz Cruise motorbike. Um, so right out the box I ended up taking off the back wheel cover and ended up putting the handlebars and the seat on. You know, typical bike maintenance but you know, that you need to do just to be able to ride it. And then, um, yeah. How's it going YouTube? This is day two of assembling the motorized bike. As you can see I put the handlebars and the seat on and I got the tires filled. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a gear puller and I'm going to pull these uh, this pedal here off. So now I'm just going to tighten it until it pops off. So here you just want to use a flathead screwdriver and uh, just hit on it with a hammer like I'm doing here until it comes loose. Same with the inside ring, do the same thing, just use a flathead and beat on it until it comes loose there. And there you go. For this part, you don't really need to use this grease here. It just went a little extra with it. Um, but you don't have to do this by any means. You just gotta make sure that the ball bearings are the correct way. Otherwise, you will have issues. So now that that's all tightened up, it's time to put on the sprocket. Um, this is the easiest part of the build. It's just this little pin here. You just drop in, line up, and you just tighten it, and you're good to go. And uh, now I'm tightening the engine mount. To, uh, place the motor up. GG's. <clears throat> Alright, so I got the engine mount mounted. The engine bracket, so hopefully that'll hold up. And, uh, yeah, next step is to just put the engine in. That. So I just got the motor put on, all I gotta do is tighten the bolts underneath, and yeah, then I gotta set up these fuel lines, and hopefully I can get it running, boys. Alright, so as you can see guys, I've just mounted, mounted the motor on. And uh, everything's tight, and now it's time to put the transmission on. What I'm doing now is Moving the back wheel so I could add the sprocket. Fucking, these fucking landscapers are over here fucking around. Motherfuckers. Alright, regardless. Alright, so before I was rudely interrupted by Jim's lawn care service, um, you pretty much just have to take the coaster brake arm off the wheel and then you split that little rubber grommet. So then it takes nine bolts and nine screws. And you pretty much, this is real tedious what you have to do for this part. You just have to sit here and 
obviously look at it look at me fucking jazzed it up but uh yeah this part takes a lot of patience a lot of time so just you know be calm Jesus Christ, bro. Fucking Jesus. So here's a different angle of it. The uh, rubber grommet gets slipped right in on the inside of the spokes. And then there's another rubber grommet that goes on the outside to stabilize it. And then you just want to make sure everything's tightened down. And that's what I'm doing here. This was by far the shittiest time I had uh, during the whole build. You have to lift it up higher. Sorry, sorry. Alright, so we did a lot today. Got the engine mounted. I got this back sprocket on the tire here. Tomorrow I gotta put the chain on. I got the chain tensioner, and then I got to put some pedals on, and uh, yeah. Alright, so this is where the chain has to go, right here on the chains, and then wraps around to, let me move the camera here, this back sprocket here, so it's uh, Let's do that. Hopefully the chain is the right length. Alright, so the chain wasn't the right length, so I had to do a bunch of extra bullshit. So if you know how to cut a chain and do all that, um, that's great. But I'm not going to show you how to do it in this video, so just look it up uh, and have fun. Now, we gotta tighten these pedals up. So I already got the bolts in there. Just gonna give these a tighten. Hey, if you guys like this video, please give it a like, comment, and if you don't mind, subscribe. Even hit that little dinger. And uh, be on the lookout for part two. Uh, thank you guys.